Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to edit this render from Keyshot in Photoshop. In previous video we created this Bugatti Chiron render and we also create this clown pass. This clown pass is really good for, for easy selection. So, first of all, bring this final render into the Photoshop. Also copy this clown pass into the Photoshop. And now, if we're going to select this magic one tool, we can select individual oops, we can select individual parts of the car. For example, glass, car paint, bumper, ground, backplate. So if we hide this channel and we are click on this channel, we can still select these individual parts. So it's pretty useful. So first of all, we are going to change this layer to smart object. We are going to create the camera raw filter. Now, when I get automotive renders, I always bring this first value to negative. So the whole image will be a little bit more cooler. If we bring this to the yellow, it will be more warmer. But I want something to like this. So exposure a little bit more. If you don't know what this tool is doing, you can just simply do this and you exactly know what you're going to change. So a little bit more contrast, highlights. OK, if you bring shadow all the way up, we can see ground floor, but we don't want to do it. So something like this, that's all right. Okay, so the whites and the blacks. Okay, this is really good. So the texture, this is kind of interesting. This is also interesting, but we destroy the whole image. I really like how the grill is looking, but the whole image is not really nice so maybe like this and this like okay so highlight this a bit lower value shadow a little bit lower okay so now we are going to change the car paint so we are going to click to the clown pass select the car paint and the first step is to create the curves now, I'm going to use the really simple way. We can also make this car black, if you like, or we can make it white, but we need something a little bit more to get exactly white color. But we are going to put just a little bit more contrast, something to like this. Okay, this is good. You see this part? is more darker and this hood is more brighter so this is really nice a little bit lower something to like this and the next step is going to change this glass i'm going to zoom a little bit more this image Okay, so again, I'm always using the same process to, to retouch all the parts. You can use levels, but I'm mostly using the curves. Okay, now I'm going to change this part because it's look too much like plastic. And make it a little bit more darker. All right, 
I'm going to change these to carbon fiber mirrors. So again, curves. This is like really easy retouching. You don't need to have any special skills. It's just really easy. Okay, we are going to change these or edit these front bumper. Carbon fiber is really shiny, so I'm going to create similar effect. Exactly curves. This is really nice because you can see the, the texture on it, but we need to use something to like this. Okay. This is good. And now I'm going to change this grill, but we are going to create the layer. Change the layer type to soft light. And we are going to click on the brush, soft brush, opacity 25%. And we are going to paint the light. Make sure it's white color. So something to like this. And we are going to change this to the black. And make this down a little bit black. Okay, this may be a little bit more bright. Okay, so this is the difference. Pretty nice. So now we are going to change uh, ground. So let's make this 70 so we can see the full image. And we are going again select backplate and the ground. And we are going to put a little bit more contrast. So Okay guys, so just a few more steps. We are going back to the main channel. We are going again create the camera row filter. We are going to use different techniques. So we are going to check our masking. So select masking. We can create the radial gradient and we are going to select this car but actually i'm going to say okay so we can see better car and something like this bring this a little bit down so the car is more visible something to like this okay that's good i'm going to press the invert button and what this do it's masking this red area so you see i'm going to make it a little bit more darker so shadow a little bit and the black okay and that's it that's the that's the final render so we are going to export this as our final image And we are going to create something different now. I'm going to show you how to repaint this car without doing another render. So you can select the car paint right here, or you can select this, this layer, control and click on this. And we are going to create the curves again, and we are going to bring this down something to like this. Okay, maybe like this. Okay, that's really nice. File export, export as PNG, 
export okay and i'm going to show you how to change the color so again click on this i'm going to undo this layer or just hide it this last hue saturation colorize this going to bring 45 and now we can change the color of the car i'm going for the blue and maybe something to like this it'll be fine okay i'm going to bring back these curves click on this and i'm going to make it something like this okay do saturation and check this and okay file export export as png and the export okay so i'm going to show you final renders so first we create this render in the key shot so this is our base render and we also render this clown pass so we can easily select individual parts okay original render post-production before after then we create the dark metallic paint this is it really nice and we also create the blue paint so from one render which is like this and the clown pad you can create multiple iteration and variation without doing another renders and losing time so guys i hope you like this video and if you like it please hit the like button or subscribe and if you got any questions let me know and i will try to upload more videos like this so have a nice day and have a nice render bye